I control the conversation and I use personal input to also run the conversation. Okay. So me talking, instead of just asking a bunch of questions, I like to talk about my day. I like to talk about what's going on in my experience or whatever the observation is. I like to give my own personal input on that thing. Right. So if we're talking about not even this girl, let's just say a, a different scenario. The girl was like Latina, right? If she, I thought this girl was Hispanic. Turns out she wasn't Hispanic. If she was Hispanic though, um, or if, if, if the girl's ethnic, I could just, I would talk about Hispanic and be like, Oh, so actually my, my the last girl I dated, she was Colombian. Right. So I dated this, I dated a Colombian girl for like five years, actually. So I, I know a little bit of Spanish, like, you know, say todas las palabras, pero, you know, puedo comunicar más o menos, but, um, no, she was a great girl. Honestly, I like, I mean, you know how Colombians are. It was like an emotional roller coaster, right? So it was like, it was a lot of fun, but at the same time it was like, man, by, by the end of it, like we really fucking bumped heads and, uh, okay. So you could just see, I'm giving personal input into the topic of conversation. Okay. So we were talking about, I made an observation about the girl, Hispanic, whether or not she's even Hispanic doesn't matter, but just by making an observation or in that case, it's an, it's an assumption. I made an assumption about her ethnicity based on the answer. I then gave a personal input on the experience of that topic. Okay. This is so much more powerful so much more engaging than back and forth, boring interview questions and conversation. That's going to get you nowhere by me telling a slightly longer piece. It allows me to assume the burden of the conversation. Okay. It allows me to carry the conversation because in the beginning of it, most people aren't going to talk that much. Okay. If you're talking to a stranger or if you just met somebody on campus or wherever you're at, you're not going to be able to just ask them a question. And then they just give you some crazy lengthy answer. It just doesn't work that way. Okay. You need to be the one that's like carrying the conversation in the beginning. And as a result of that, oftentimes, once I start giving more input, like, like take example, that, that answer that I just said, if I came back with that lengthy answer and there was all those different hook points in the answer, like, what did I say? I was like, she was Colombian. I, I even said a bunch in Spanish right there. I was talking about how we bumped heads. I said it was an emotional roller coaster. I said, I'm sure you understand you with the, with the Hispanics, right? There's like five different hook points in that answer. By the time it's that per, by the time it's that girl's turn to talk, she has like six different things that she could respond. She, she could um, react to. Okay. So you can see why that's so, so, so powerful. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And by the way, if you want to work with me personally to implement any of the techniques in this video to become more socially confident, get more women in your life, build a bigger social circle, and really just dominate life in any aspect socially, I can help you with that. I'm the guy for that, okay? Been doing this for a long time. I've transformed myself going from a video game nerd loser to becoming one of the top guys in the industry with this stuff, okay? So if you're interested in working with me personally, click the link below, click the link in the description, fill out the application, and we will be contacting you to discuss further details. Until next time, Coach Kyle, signing out. Peace.